Margot, I know, you, you know, previously in a former life, you were a member of parliament and obviously a minister, and you've had experience of that um, side of life, I guess. From that perspective, what do you think um, organisations, businesses, OEM, sort of that idea of kind of putting together this package and utilising the Automotive Council, what do we, what do you think that government and those people in positions of power and sort of generating future policy need from us and need to hear from us and how do we perhaps accelerate that support back into government from your point of view? Well I think that we need to, um, as, as Arun was saying a minute ago, we have an awful lot of assets ready to be utilised and we, we don't want to waste time duplicating what's already there. Um, we have some great universities um, in the West Midlands, we have the mayor, uh, who's very active. We have fantastic innovative companies like Bosch. Um, we have um, the assets of um, future mobility and innovation and all of this. And we need to get across to government, I think, the message that um, if they invest in the West Midlands, even to the same extent as they currently invest in London, Oxford and Cambridge, um, they will get a very good return because we have the assets. We're just in a cash flow crisis. Um, and our assets are capable of being transformed into new innovation very quickly, which will lead to the jobs of the future. So I think it's important to get the message across to government that what we're not looking for is subsidy of old jobs, subsidy towards, you know, the way we used to do things. This is more of an investment in the future. Um, so I think we need to get that message across and, and to aim that at different levels of government. You know, we need to be working with local government and regional government in order to influence um, ministers in the business transport um, departments and the treasury particularly the Treasury. And I think we need to, when we come to influencing the Prime Minister and his team, I think it's important that they see the social good of what we're proposing in terms of um, how it uh, fits so well with their, need, their desire to level up the country.